All right, we're heading out on our very first overnight. It's gonna be a two day, one night ice fishing trip. I'm not bringing any food. I'm only gonna be bringing water so I can only eat if I catch something. Hopefully, hopefully we catch stuff so we don't starve to death. So let's head out and let's get this trip going. Hopefully we get a bountiful harvest. It's gonna be my first time trying to go for burbot. So hopefully, hopefully we catch at least one burbot so I can at least try the meat and see if it really tastes like lobster. People say it's a poor man's lobster. Texture is like lobster. It tastes like lobster. Well, we're gonna see about that. Let's get this trip going, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're out uh, by Sandy Bar, out by Hecla Island on Lake Winnipeg right now. And we are doing an overnight burbot fishing challenge. I've never caught burbot before ever in my life. Never even tasted it. So that's the challenge for uh, for this trip is we gotta catch some burbot tonight. So apparently, uh, apparently the burbot bite has been pretty hot in this area. So we're gonna give that a try. And I wanna see if burbot meat is all about that hype about being like lobster and tasting like lobster. I love lobster, so we're gonna catch some burbot tonight, hopefully, and uh, we'll give it a try. Yeah. I'm, I'm joined here by, uh, by my buddy, Danny. Um, he's actually got a YouTube channel as well. It's called My Fantasy Adventures. Check it out. He does a lot of crazy cool stuff. Like he does <laughs> some ice fishing, but he, this guy goes out solo bushcraft in like minus 30, yeah, <laughs> building his own shelter out of nothing in minus 30 and survives or like how long did you go last time like three days no only two days actually. two days yeah. two two days and two yeah, nights two, two, two nights two, two nights three days yeah so two nights at minus 30 in a shelter that he built by himself if you guys like that kind of content definitely check out his channel i'm gonna link it in the description down below it's called my fantasy adventures check that out by the way Today, we're gonna be doing a challenge. I haven't eaten since like 5 p.m. yesterday. And what time is it? It's uh, 3 o'clock p.m., 3 p.m. It's yeah. 3 p.m. right now, so I'm almost going up on 24 hours without eating any food. Um, we didn't bring any food. I didn't even bring any snacks or energy bars or anything like that. All I brought was a pack of water, and that's it. So the challenge is we can only eat what we catch and we got to stay hydrated guys that's essential but food wise like uh like i do intermittent fasting every now and then as well so i don't think it's going to be that challenging to be honest but uh and i, and I think we'll probably get on some fish but whatever it's going to be kind of cool to uh you know just get out and not bring any food and uh, and only eat if you catch anything so that's the challenge for tonight guys it's almost prime time it's 3 p.m we just got done setting up over here almost time to get those lines in the water and we'll take you inside our, our shacks and show you how we're set up let's go Whew, that wind outside starting to get chilly let me take you guys inside my shack here and i'll show you guys how we're set up all right so there's my little uh, cabela's caught I like this one, picked up for about a hundred bucks at Cabela's. It's got the nice little organizer pockets on the side like that so you can put your stuff, uh, accessories and whatnot in there. It's got my sleeping bag here. It's got a chair here so I can put some stuff, extra stuff on it. All I got here in this cooler guys is my stove, my cooking pan, some oil, got uh, salt, pepper, garlic powder inside too, and uh, some water. And that's it, we gotta, we gotta catch what we wanna eat. So what I'm using for bait here, is I got some live minnows in the bucket. I've also got some frozen minnows here as well, just in case I run out of live minnows. Of course, I've got the fisherman's best friend, the jaw jacker, I've actually just put it down already. I got a live minnow at the end of a jig there, right at the bottom where the burbot is gonna be biting. So, we're fishing at about 12 feet of water in here. And we're close to where there's a, uh, a drop off. So we're just on a bar close to where a drop off is. So the bite should start getting hot here. I haven't even looked at the fish finder yet to see if I marked anything earlier. Uh, we've been outside getting stuff set up. So got the body heater here. It's not too cold today, so I don't think we have to turn that on until later on. But uh, yeah, that is the complete setup. So I'm gonna be spending the night in the shack tonight. And uh, hopefully we start getting on some fish. Hopefully the bite is good. 
Apparently the burbot bite has been fairly hot in this area, so fingers crossed I catch burbot for my first time. I've been told that burbot you should boil in 7-Up and then have like a garlic butter dip. But I didn't want to get too fancy cooking out on the ice, so hopefully I'll catch enough to be able to take home. And then I'll try that recipe. Have you eaten burbot before? Do you like it? Comment down below how you guys cook your burbot and uh, let me know. Alright, there you go. So PK, rattle spoon, and the hook just above the dorsal fin there. Keeps them alive for fairly long, so... He's kicking down there now. So we'll get the line in the water. 12 feet of water is what we're fishing right now. And uh, I hope I catch some real soon because I am hungry. I haven't eaten for almost 24 hours now, like 23 hours now, without, without food, like zero food. Last time I ate was dinner last night at 5 p.m. So I didn't eat breakfast. Um, purposely because I wanted to just do this challenge today and I knew I was coming out so super hungry and uh, hopefully we can catch something uh, for dinner tonight and then cook it up I don't know if the camera can pick that up but my stomach is growling man <laughs> yeah the ice was super thick today too it was like I don't know over three feet now I think we couldn't get through luckily there was somebody driving by earlier that helped punch some holes for us because we couldn't get through on our on our augers couldn't get through on danny's auger and couldn't get through on on my auger either so which was uh thicker compared to last weekend when i was here where i barely punched through the ice uh by like one inch or so that's why i thought it was going to be okay without an extension i don't even have an extension guys so thought it was going to be okay without an extension because it's been a little bit warmer over the past week since last weekend but uh, apparently not so uh, ice seems like it's thicker uh, today than it was last weekend and I couldn't even get through uh, I think I was like an inch to almost two inches short of being able to punch through with my auger Danny's got a mark over there we might have some dinner tonight <laughs> it's been pretty quiet man I gotta say I was expecting it to be like a super hot bite but it's been it's been pretty quiet I've only made I've only got two marks um, but they didn't bite he's got a mark over there right now so hopefully he gets one we might just have some dinner tonight we're gonna come check out your setup go have a look at the uh, setup over here Oh, it's nice this, and toasty in here, man. Pretty simple setup here. Yeah. That's 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 where we usually uh, camp in the wild. Yeah. That's my uh, simple setup here. So this is your this is your setup when you do your little cot, yeah, bushcraft stuff. Little, it's a nice cot. Uh, I got a sleeping bag in my backpack right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically what I want. And little uh, camping table. table. I like your camera setup, dude. Yeah, it's a camping table. I like his camera setup, man. That's nice. Yeah. There. He's got the well, lights. The That's what I'm that. missing, man. I'm missing the lights for nighttime later. Yeah, but the big bummer is this battery is dead. So I'm gonna switch that battery back and forth, you know. <laughs> so that one's charging my oh, fish between, finder right now. Between the lights yeah. and the fish finder. And then I'm gonna switch the battery over here to charge my light later on. Uh, we don't need the light right now. <laughs> yeah, we don't need the light right now at least. And yeah, we're not rocking fish. <laughs> well, you, I think you got a mark earlier, right? Yeah, but rotten, all right. Yeah, I got I got one mark. I think they're just coming in on the dead stick. Okay. As soon as I picked up the rod and started jigging it, because I'm right. impatient, uh, then it swam off, and I think it swam off into your direction. So I don't know if that could have been the mark that you got or not. Be patient. Yeah, dead stick, man. I think that's what, that's what the bourbon is supposed to be biting on. Dead stick, like, right on the very bottom is what everybody's saying. So... I'm just placing like I got my jaw jacker just right at the bottom. Check out my rod over there. That's a chill though. <laughs> I'm actually just oh, using yeah. Dude, you got a hand line going on over here? Right. Oh man. That's what that's what I use for this is my jigging rod and the other one is just a tip with a, a football. It's a football jig. Tip with a solid mirror. 
Oh, yeah. dude. It's very simple. Yeah. That's cool. Just a hand line yeah. like that, eh? Drop into the water. That's it. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Guys, make sure you guys check out his point of view of this uh, of this uh, fishing trip on his channel, My Fantasy Adventures. It's going to be cool. It would be nice if you get something on that hand line, dude. Right. That's savage. Love it. Bro, I've been 24 hours without food so far, I know. What if I don't Almost. catch any fish? I'm gonna <laughs> suffer hunger for the rest of the night, right? Oh, we're gonna catch some fish, you guys. Just just wait, just wait. We'll catch some fish once the evening patient. light turns on here. Yeah. Just gotta be patient. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get back into my shack there. Okay. Let's get back. Let's get back to fishing. All right. Let's get back to fishing, guys. Come on, bite it already. Jeez. They're they're coming through and that's it. They're swim they just swim through. Where's the bites? Damn. Uh I'm getting real hungry, so I'm instantly starting to regret this 48 hour catch only what you eat challenge here. <laughs> Cause I'm getting so hungry right now. We gotta get some something on the ice pretty soon here. Cause we gotta start catching fish cook it up and eat man I'm starving right now I had a nibble earlier on this on this rod but uh, it wasn't a committed bite so couldn't really set the hook on it <clears throat> and my buddy heater starting to run out of propane so I'm gonna have to switch the tank up here pretty soon once it's fully out, it's gonna be a night bite. It's gonna be a night bite, boys. Let's go. So I had switched to this rattle bait in the hopes of being able to call the fish in, but not working right now. So I think if we don't get anything on this very very soon I might switch it up back to uh, maybe another spoon or something that pink spoon. That pink spoon was uh, was working for me the last time I came here last weekend so off of the hook and I stuck my arm in and grabbed them just in time holy cow yes hey we got dinner bro there he is all right let's see he's about he's he's a 15 or 16 inch man keeper we can eat this guy Whew. all right well, we haven't eaten yet, so I am going to dispatch this, and then uh, we're gonna get cooking right away. Um, but before that, I'm gonna get my line back into the water again, just in case we get anything else. So, let's do a breakdown on what I caught that guy on there. Just measured him, he's uh, 16 and a half inches. Decent eater size. Just a simple jig and middle. Orange and green jig. And it was a live minnow, but doesn't look like it's alive anymore. But uh, yeah, we're gonna process the fish right away and then uh, eat, eat some <laughs> dinner. I'm so hungry, man. Go ahead, do it. 
What time is it right now? It's almost 7, 7.30. 7.30? Yeah. So 20... Four hours. 27 hours. No, 20, 26 hours. For you, yeah. <laughs> 20, 26 hours without eating. Like, not even a single thing. All I had was... All I've been drinking was like coffee this morning and then just water and that's it. But 26 hours, not a single bite of food. And uh, this guy... I'll tell you right now, he's getting to taste so much better just because of how hungry yeah, we it's, are right now. All right, well, it's it a little bit tough trying to work the camera and getting the right angle and lighting uh, on preparing the fish, but so didn't bother with that. It was uh, it wasn't working out with the way that the lighting and the angles were, but uh, basically just filleted it. So there's our fillets right there, and. Uh, I used the guts to just chum the waters, so I put some of the guts and stuff like that in the uh, in the two holes that I got here, and hopefully it does what it's supposed to do and chums the waters, and hopefully we can get a bourbon bite still later tonight. But uh, we're gonna cook fillets right now, and then uh, have a bite to eat. Well, it's hard to see it in the dark here with the lighting, but. Here is my stove. I'm just using this butane stove. So what we gotta do is clip that in. Clips right in there. This stove is used for Chinese hot pot, but it works well as a camping stove as well. It's got some oil right here. And uh, the only seasoning that I brought was just this salt, pepper, and uh, garlic powder. So, just gonna keep it nice and simple. First, we'll get some oil in the pan. Imagine dying. Just turn that fire on. That's cool. Very close, right? Yeah. You know. Okay. That's the seasoning you bought? Yeah, that should be good. Let's eat. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, just eat it right out of the pan. Tastes so good. Yeah. After it's not good. having any food for like 26 hours now. Yeah. Woo! It's good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep the chopsticks. Yeah. For my potato. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, maybe if I if I can't catch a fish until uh 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. I'm gonna cook my potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, I'm sticking with the challenge. I gotta only eat what I catch. Yeah. <clears throat> but your challenge is over. Thank you. you got a fish, right? So challenge is over. No, no, I'm still, <laughs> right, still I, until I go home. Yeah. I, can't, I can't eat nothing unless I catch it. Mm. Oh, God. That's so good. 
And now this camera battery is dying, so I gotta switch the battery on this right away. This little tiny okay. fish is not gonna end up. I'm gonna, gonna finish this more. up. Yep. And uh, we'll try to catch some more fish. Hopefully, for a bourbon. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for now. Whoa. All right, guys. So just finished eating here. Um, whew, man, that feels good in the stomach after a long time of not eating anything, even just the tiny fish like that. Um, one thing that I kind of regret though is I probably shouldn't have tried to fillet it. Um, probably should have just cut it into chunks, and that way we probably would have been able to salvage and eat uh, more of more of the fish rather than just just the pure meat because there's a lot of meat like in between the bones like by the head and all that stuff that you can still eat and then in a scenario like this like if you're actually just trying to survive um based on what you're catching or getting probably the best way is to just cook the fish up as a whole but uh so yeah kind of regret doing that didn't get as much um nutrition and meat as i could have if i just cooked the fish as a whole but i don't know just I guess it's a habit of just filleting the fish uh, as a way of preparing it. So, eh, my bad. Anyways, got lines back in the water now. And uh, hopefully we get on another fish here pretty my soon. dinner is here! You got one? Yes! Hey! hey! Finally here! Come on! Hey, hey, let's go! Daddy's got a fish. Let's go check it out. Back! Oh! <laughs> let's go! We're gonna figure out a way to cook it. Yeah, buddy! It's my first time! I mean... Nice! Alright. Holy she, cow. She's pregnant, right? <laughs> no, uh, it's just the way they look, I think. Yes! What do you think? What do you guys think? We got a burb, guys! Well, it feels like uh, it's... Wow! Hell yeah! Check it out, guys. It's not All right, huge. Hold, hold her up. I can get a... Oh, 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 hold on. Don't drop them back yeah, in the don't hole. Don't drop back in the water. This is not a huge one, but this is gonna be a delicious dinner. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Yeah. Oh, you got them on the rattle bait. Right, you're gonna have to taste them later then. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, you got your phone I'm on you? Gonna, I'm not gonna flay it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it into chunk and then. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably the best way we can Ooh. do it. I yeah! Know, I know it's coming! I know it's coming! Hell yeah, buddy! There <laughs> we right, go. Then. Finally got on a burb. So I'm at uh, Danny's at one burbit. <laughs> I'm at one walleye. Let's go! So it's almost 8 o'clock, right? Yeah, it's, it is 8 o'clock right now. Yeah, we got so, it. Burbit by the... Oh, Damn son, time. let's go! Alright, so here. check this out, guys. This is the burbit. It feels like... So soft, you know? It's just a... It feels so different from, from walleye and sauger. It just, uh... See? Oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's th there's no scale on it. Yeah. I don't even have to scale. Huh. Right? Okay, that's gonna be interesting to taste, man. Well, people say it tastes like lobster, and it feels like lobster, the meat. Alright, let's cook it. So, right. let's check it out. You need to use my, uh, my pan? Oh, I do have a pan. You got a pan? Yeah. Okay. So here's the moment of truth. We're going to taste burbot for the very first time. Let's see how it tastes. I know it's not my burbot, but hopefully I'll catch one well, too later on. But uh, this is also Danny's yeah. first time catching a burbot and eating a burbot too. So moment of truth. We'll cook it up and then let's try it. So I'm not using sesame oil. I'm just going to use a... Butter. Butter, yeah, and the fish is going to absorb the uh, flavor of butter, so you don't have to add a seasoning on it. So it's going to taste good without seasoning. Yeah, plus I it'd, be, it'd be nice to taste the, uh, just the pure fish yep. taste. Okay, let's see how it goes. Can't believe you caught it jigging on a rattle bait. Yeah, unbelievable. Everybody is saying jigging minnow, jigging minnow. Everyone's saying dead stick, but here we are. Danny was jigging his rattle bait, and that's what it bit on. Yeah, kind of berber with rattle bait without a fish finder. <laughs> Dude, 
your lighting in here is so much better than the lighting that I have in my shack, man. Well, that 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 lantern. It makes filming yeah. so nice in here. That lantern is for camping, not for yeah. ice fishing shack. Well, I mean, like, All right. have four of those lanterns though, and hang them on each corner. Probably be pretty. Yeah, set. go get the lantern from yeah. Amazon. It's pretty cheap. You're gonna get four of them and hang it on, hang one on each corner. And yeah, sorry guys for the terrible lighting in, in my shack there. Um, I gotta invest in some of those lanterns and uh, some lighting, better lighting for, uh, for ice fishing next time. This is the first time I've ever done night fishing, so I don't really have the gear for it. And I didn't really know what to expect. I thought my flashlight would be good enough, but uh, obviously it wasn't. Um, yeah, so I gotta invest in some better lighting for next time for you guys. Okay. But uh, yeah, we're good thing do, we're filming yeah. in here. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna cook it up right now. And then once we're finished cooking it up, then we'll give it the uh, the old taste test. We're eating, eating everything. We got the head and everything in here. Yeah, and the tail. Everything here. Which is what I should have done with my walleye. Take all the calories that we can get. Yeah, I regret not just cutting that into chunks and just cooking everything. Alright. First chunk. There you go. All right. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Smells good with that butter. Oh man, I can't wait to taste this thing. Oh uh, yeah. So people say it tastes like lobster. Feels like <laughs> and tastes like lobster is what people say. And by touching the meat when it was raw there earlier, I could kind of, kind of get the idea. Okay, let's get the tail. Burbot tail, is it gonna taste like lobster tail? We'll see. Oh, I got a burbot! Ho ho! You got it? Yeah, I got a burbot! Cool, cool, nice! Yeah, buddy! Oh, man! There we go! Get it over here. There we go! Guys, I finally got my first burbot ever. He's not huge, but he's a burbot. It's my first burbot ever. So, I was actually just in Danny's tent there and we were filming him uh, cooking the uh, his burbot over there. And then I heard something in my tent here and it was my rod that fell off the rod holder. And then uh, came in here. Good thing I checked because otherwise my rod would have probably fell in the hole. And uh, here we go. We got ourselves a burbot, guys. Yes. Let's go. All right, guys. So there it is. Thought I'd do uh, record the uh, video here because it's, there's just way better lighting here in Danny's in Danny shack. So there's my burbot right there. First burbot ever. It's not it's not huge. It's not a monster, but uh, we're gonna cook him up and. He's gonna taste just as good. So I'm super happy we finally actually got on a bourbon. This is my very first time ever catching a bourbon. And this is gonna be our first time eating and tasting bourbon as well. So, but these things are like, wow, like these are super slimy. It's, it's crazy, like it's even slimier than a pike. Like it's so slippery. And trip the fatty. So the fatty is like, and the belly is just, they've got a lot, it looks like they've got a lot of fat. Right, so that should provide us with a good amount of calories and Danny's burbot is almost done cooking up over here so we're gonna dispatch this guy right away and chop him up and then cook him up. Actually we might just save him for breakfast for breakfast for tomorrow <laughs> just yeah. in case. So we're gonna save this guy, just got him, dispatch gut and then we'll save this guy for breakfast for tomorrow. But uh, yeah there it is, there's a the burbot guys. That is pretty cool. Look at that, just all gutted, a lot of meat. Don't flay it. <laughs> no, nope, we're not flaying this time. Mm. All right, we're gonna save this guy for breakfast for tomorrow. We need chopsticks over here? No idea. No, okay. Go get the chopstick over here, taste it somewhere. Check that. Alright. 
All right, guys, here it is, moment of truth. Cooked with butter. Well, cooked with butter. Just butter, no, no seasoning or anything. No seasoning. Oh man, it's just chunks of meat, hey? Right. No boom. You know what? Next time, we gotta cook it over a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Does it taste like lobster? No. Dude, yeah, it does, though. It does have a. It's got a lobster texture. It does have bones. Lots of bones over there. That is crazy. What? It, it does feel and taste kind of like lobster. Lobster? Mm hmm. I'm just sitting here eating like a savage for you guys, man. Just <laughs> with my hands, man. That's what happens when you don't eat for like 26 hours. You're in a survival situation, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't have like chopsticks or forks and knife. You don't have the luxury of that. <laughs> luxury of utensils, no? Right. Oh, man. That's actually... <laughs> that is actually really good. Yes. And there's no exactly. seasoning here, man. Yep, yeah, there's no seasoning. Try it's butter. Just, it's just... Pure butter and, and yep. just the fish, not even salt in this thing. Man, add add some garlic. Cause it might, it might, it might last. Add a little bit of seasoning in yep. here, man. Like salt and then garlic powder. Oh, buddy. Or oh, lemon, lemon juice. A oh, little bit of lemon juice yep. too. Just how, however, the same way you would cook a lobster, pretty much. Guys, it does taste like lobster. I'm not even lying right now. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever been this happy eating <laughs> eating before, man. <laughs> Just so exactly. hungry and it, it actually tastes really good. Well, I'm even more hungry than he is. <laughs> you had why, right? <laughs> mm. But now I'm happy. Happy, and after this, I'm gonna keep fishing. Mm -hmm. yeah. That meat is just holy. That is the meat of the gods, right there. Oh my god, that's so good, guys. That that was just incredible. Holy cow, that was that's really good fish. That's probably that's okay. That's now hands down my favorite fish. In Manitoba, like that's the best tasting fish that we have here in Manitoba, man. Like, hands down, not even a question about it. That is the best tasting fish that we have here in Manitoba for me. Like, that's my favorite 100%. That was really good. It really does, uh, the texture really does feel like lobster, and the taste kind of does also taste like lobster, too, which is really interesting on a fish. And like, that thing is ugly, it's slimy, and it just and it looks gross, but man, does it taste good. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this back to my shack and we're gonna save this for breakfast for tomorrow. And we'll get back to fishing because now we got the energy to fish. So we'll get back to fishing right away and see if we can get on some more burbots. All right, guys, we're back to fishing here. Let's get this line back down in the water. Jaw Jacker hasn't gotten any action yet today. That's the same, same jig and minnow combo that I caught that burbot on earlier. So I'm gonna get this back down. And I just had it like right at the very bottom there. There we go, back down, right at the bottom again. And let's continue fishing. Hope we get on some more burbots. It's really hard without good lighting though. I gotta I gotta up my lighting game here, guys. Oh, we 
Look at this, we're getting a tuck. Yeah, there's my burbot right there. I'm gonna save him for breakfast tomorrow. Just in case we don't catch anything else tonight. Jaw Jacker needs to get some action here. Come on, buddy. Let's go. We got something on the Jaw Jacker, boys. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yes, Jaw Jacker finally got some action there, guys. It's a good size one, too. Decent size for sure. Woo! Damn, I wish I had some better lighting in here. <laughs> yes. There we go, guys. Another burbot on the jaw jacker. Hell yeah. This one's a decent size too. Let's give him a quick estimate here. Measure him. He's a 19, 19 and a half, 20 inch. 19 and a half 20 inch burbot right here guys hell yeah let's go all right guys here's a closer look burbot number two this guy is uh 20 inches looks like a decent size it's gonna have some decent meat on this one and uh well we've already tried the burbot meat so that's already mission accomplished and um and i've got the first burbot that I got, not the one that Danny caught, we ate that one. So I've got the first burbot that I got and we're, I'm going to be saving that for, for our breakfast tomorrow. But uh, this guy right here, I think I'm going to be taking this guy home. And uh, well, I've just been texting with my family and, and telling them how good the burbot meat is. And uh, they want to try it. So I'm going to bring this guy home and uh, let, my tr let my family try to burbot meat so this guy's coming home with me tomorrow night after the fishing trip is done here so we'll cook this guy up at home tomorrow I think they're gonna love it because we love my family loves to eat lobster and that my friend feels and tastes exactly like lobster so I think they're pretty pumped for it I just told my wife texted my wife I think she's already asleep but I texted her I was like I got another burbot I'm bringing this one home so Tomorrow she's going to be pretty pumped up for that one. Well, let's get the line back in the, in the water. Caught that one on the jaw jacker. Um, just heard that pop. Gotta love that jaw jacker pop, right? Caught that one on the jaw jacker. Jig and minnow just right at the bottom. So I'm going to get re-rigged up on the jaw jacker there. Get the line back in the water. And uh, hopefully we can catch a few more tonight. Alright guys, well, it's about uh, midnight or so now. So far I'm sitting at uh, two burbots and one of them I'm gonna eat for breakfast tomorrow and the second one I'm going to take home and uh, let my family try it um, and then also got one walleye was the first fish that I got today um, gonna call it a night now take a bit of a short nap probably just a power nap couple hours or so depends we'll see um, Got the jaw jacker still in the water there so hopefully if i hear that pop then i'm a pretty light sleeper so should be able to hear it and get right up and get another fish on the ice hopefully but uh, if not then yeah i'm gonna go to sleep now and uh that's the end of day one and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for day two i got a buddy that's coming up here driving up out here in the morning to uh, join us do a little bit of fishing so hopefully we can get on some fish tomorrow for the morning bite 
And uh, yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's all for now. See you guys tomorrow morning. Peace. guys and I just hear my rod in some action over here looks like a big one too big one oh I don't know how I can't see it yet oh yeah bourbon Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo. Guys, middle of the night burbot right there. Woke me up. Just heard my rod almost fall. But uh, there we go. There we have it. I think that's got to be the PB so far. I'm gonna quickly put it beside the other one here just to compare size. Let's see. Sorry for the lighting. I'm just using my uh, my phone flashlight right now. So he looks to be about. If you could stop wiggling around, then I could measure you. 24 ish. I think about 23. 23 inches, this one. That is awesome. Yes! Again, sorry for the lighting, guys. Kind of middle of the night just woke me up, but uh, all right, I'm gonna dispatch him right away, and then I gotta get back to sleep, man. <laughs> Woo! The night was rough to say the least. I only got about two hours of rest as I had to keep getting up to change the one pound propane tanks about every three hours or so, as the temperature dropped a lot more than we were expecting it to. The next morning, I had a buddy drop in from the city for the morning bite which eventually proved to be non-existent that day. So after watching a meat eater how to prep burbot video on YouTube, I decided to fillet it and cook up the chunks of meat for breakfast. We fished for about another 5 hours or so but with no result and decided to call it a day. Thus concluding my first ever 48 hour eat only what you catch ice fishing challenge. Overall, I had a great time out, but the next time there's definitely going to be some heater upgrades and better lighting for filming purposes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a huge favor and drop a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below and check out my description for other recommended videos and playlists to watch some of my other content before you decide to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.